Hey guys, welcome back to Theojo Tech. You know, today, I don't even know why, but I was thinking about Apple and really thinking about, you know, why is Apple so popular? And I came up with a few reasons why I think that is. And I just want to start off, this isn't going to be a fanboy Apple's amazing video. I use quite a few devices, guys, okay? All right, now the first reason I could think of was that Apple really emphasizes ease of use in their products. Anyone can pretty much start using an Apple product and it's pretty intuitive and I think that's really a draw for a lot of people. The common thing you hear people say is that Apple products and Macs just work. And I think the reason for this is because Apple has control over both the operating system and the hardware so they can really optimize everything to work together perfectly. Windows PCs go on pretty much any type of hardware, and PC manufacturers, some are better than others, some might put in inferior parts, and then people will use that PC and blame it on Windows when really, it's probably the manufacturer's fault, not even Microsoft's. But Apple has control over what goes into their Macs, so they know everything is going to work as best as it can. Now the next main reason is that Apple really pushes premium branding. When you buy an Apple product, they really make you feel like you're buying something quality. Everything from the designs of the devices, to the packaging, to even the layout of the store, it's all got this really modern, high-tech Apple feel to it. I mean, even in the stores, there's no checkout lines, all the transactions are done handheld, the cash drawers are in the, the tables. It's all modern, it's very clean, and it really just screams premium, no matter how you look at it. Now the Apple devices themselves might not necessarily have better hardware and oftentimes, in fact, you can get a PC with better hardware, better performance for a lot cheaper. Apple sets themselves up as a premium product, not just on the hardware, but all the service around it. So they are allowed to charge that premium price as long as people are willing to pay for it and they are. Now the next point is kind of related to that and it's superior customer service. I mean, you walk into the Apple store and all the employees are on the show floor among the customers, willing to help you out. They ask you if you need help. It's not like you have to go up to the customer service desk and present your question. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, it's really personable and just offers a better service experience in general, I think. Also, in my experience, they seem to not try to jack you around. They just try to help you out and fix the problem, especially if it's under warranty. They'll just completely replace it a lot of times. For example, one time my iPhone power button just stopped working. I took it into the Apple store. You know, they didn't really ask them any questions about it. They just checked, yep, it doesn't work. Let's get you a new phone. Even though there's only two days left on the warranty, they completely replaced it. Didn't hassle me about it at all. Now, it's obviously a different story if you're not under warranty, but you know, that was just my experience. Now, finally, the thing I thought of was that Apple is pretty much perceived as being innovative. If they're not today, they definitely were in the past. I mean, today, you could probably argue that Apple isn't that innovative, definitely not as much as before, and I'd be inclined to agree. I mean, you look at the Apple Watch, eh, it wasn't that amazing as you'd expect from an Apple product, especially considering there were some other ones already on the market. Apple was pretty late to the show. Now, you can't deny that Apple has been a game changer in the past on several occasions, notably the iPhone. I mean, when you think smartphone, there's a good chance the iPhone pops into your head as the first image. But it's not like the iPhone is just automatically the best smartphone anymore. I mean, you got a lot of competition coming in from Android. The top flagship phones are really awesome. You can't say that the iPhone is really the best smartphone anymore. But it's obviously still always a top contender, at least. Now, I'm really thinking that if Apple doesn't pick up their pace with the innovations that they're well known for, they might get left behind. I mean, you got a lot of big companies coming out that are way more innovative, in my opinion, like Microsoft with HoloLens. We've never seen anything like that before. Oculus, incredibly innovative. Tesla with the Roadster, that's completely innovative in the automotive industry. Google's developing self-driving cars. You got HTC and Valve with the Vive as well. I mean, what has Apple really done? The watch that people were already making, you know what I'm saying? We'll have to see. I hope Apple has something cooking up in the research labs that's just gonna blow the doors off everything else. Believe me, I would love to see a new incredible innovation come out for the consumer. It's, it's always fun. They've kind of been on a dry spell. Now they did have that cool MacBook where they had the interestingly engineered battery 
So that was good, but you know, they haven't released anything really groundbreaking recently. And you know what? Those are just my thoughts. I do want to continue this conversation with you guys in the comments section. We can all discuss everything that, you know, I talked about. If you have more points that you want to talk about that I didn't mention, be sure to let us know and we'll all discuss it. You guys can also give it a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos three times a week. And if you want to leave a suggestion, you can do that. You can also check out some other videos on the right hand side. You can either click the annotation or all links will also be in the description as well. Like if you're on a phone. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Have a good one.